There are some stories in the Witcher books that absolutely have to make it to the Witcher Netflix TV series, and this is one of them. If you're in my Witcher book club, which by the way, you can still join where you get exclusive chapter breakdown videos, podcast maps, and more, you know that Novellan and his lover Verena. If you don't know and want to read the books, or if you don't want to be spoiled for this story, if they do use it in the Netflix series, then please don't watch. Okay, so one story I really, really, really want Netflix to put in their Witcher TV series is the story about Novellan and his lover. So Novellan is a human male who was cursed into becoming a hideous monster resembling a werewolf basically, or the beast from Beauty and the Beast. As the little tagline of the Netflix series says, the worst monsters are the ones we create. This would be a great episode really showing that or demonstrating that. Well, that and the Striga, of course. So in this story, there's a human male and he doesn't have the greatest family and eventually his grandfather and dad die and then he's in control of this gang, even though not really because he's young and stupid. The gang goes to a temple and decide to gang rape a priestess. I know, really terrible. And they kind of force Novellan into raping her to become a man, but he goes along with it, so he's still absolutely at fault. And while he's raping the priestess, she spits on him and curses him, telling him he's a monster on the inside in human skin, and now he will be a monster on the outside. And also saying something about true love and blood being able to break the curse. And after she curses him, she takes a small little dagger out of her hair and kills herself. A few days later, Novellan turns into a werewolf-looking monster, and his castle becomes enchanted and follows his commands, even allowing him to summon real food and water. Given he was such a pitiful man that didn't really attract any ladies, he actually begins to enjoy his monstrous body and begins to treat women really well, showering them with attention, love, and lots of money. Eventually, while getting it on with a lot of human ladies that really seem to be into BDSM and really into his monster form, he falls in love with a woman who he thinks at first is a water nymph, but it's not a water nymph, and later we learn it's a vampire, and just not any vampire, a powerful vampire. So it turns out to be a Bruxa, and a Bruxa is a type of vampire that is a very powerful type that isn't affected by the sun and will fuck you up hard and fast. Geralt figures out that she was using the Velen so she could use the area as her hunting grounds and get blood. She was also planning on enslaving his mind so he could protect her. This story is a wonderful play on the fairy tale Beauty and the Beast. You know, where the Beast is a, a rapist and Beauty is a vampire that is trying to enslave the mind of the Beast and murder people and take their blood. Tale as old as time. And really this story is just one of many folklore and fairy tales that the author took and twisted them to match his world and what he wanted to get across. And this fits in so beautifully with the Netflix series because you have a guy that looks awful on the outside and he actually becomes a good person. I'm not excusing what he did to the priestess at all, but he was young, he made a terrible mistake, and then he spent the next 12 years trying to be a good person, not just because he wanted to break the curse, but just because he felt it was the right thing to do. Then you have the vampire, who is very beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, she's a fucking monster and wants to enslave him and, you know, kill and feast on their blood. So. I really like the reversal. Also, <laughs> and I realize this is terrible, I love Henry Cavell. I don't think that I'm saying this to be mean to him, but I would love to have Verena in an episode of The Witcher just to watch this small, petite, just woman just wailing on The Witcher and just beating the ever-loving fuck out of Geralt and Henry Cavell as Geralt. I just think that would be so much fun to watch, personally. Which would also help with people knowing that being a witcher doesn't mean you're some god-tier killing monster hunter. You, you can get fucked up pretty bad. Overall, I think this story would be a perfect example of why Geralt has rules on what he kills. He just doesn't butcher every magical creature he comes across, weighing in sentience, and if it's truly a monster on the inside. It also shows how clever he is able to deduce things quickly and that he has emotions some claim witchers don't have. And 
And it would be a great introduction into Curses, especially if followed after a Striga episode or flashback. So Netflix, do it. Also, also, the banter between Geralt and Novellan in the short story is so, so good. And I really want to see that level of banter in the Netflix TV series. And I saw some sample lines for the Netflix the Witcher series, so I really think they do have Geralt's sense of humor and his irony and just his his just his banter with characters down in general. But I also think that the conversation between Novellan and Geralt would make for really great television and just to show what level they're both at. And if you've read the story, you know the line after Novellan is talking about all the awful shit he's gonna do to Geralt, and Geralt just looks at him and goes, and then what? It's just my favorite fucking moment of that short story ever. Geralt is just such a bamf. Imagine someone saying all the terrible, awful things they're going to do to you, and you not even blinking, looking at them and going, and then what? Okay, so that's just one short story that I really hope that Netflix The Witcher TV series turns into one episode, or heck, even, even half an episode. I'd be cool with that. So I'm going to be covering more The Witcher lore, monsters, theory videos, predictions, and so on. So make sure you like, subscribe, and come back for more videos.